Okay, so check me out. Notice all of my bookmarks for my Google Classrooms. This is like a big deal to me because it helps me to really quickly. Like, so these are all my workshops I have coming up. So I click on shortcuts. It takes me not only to the shortcuts class, but to the classwork page. So I bookmarked it to the classwork, not to the stream. So this is a hot button right to the classwork page. When I click on recess, I messed up. So you notice that this is taking me to the stream when it should take me to the classwork page because if I just click on the title, that's going to take me to the stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, right, click delete. I'm going to delete that bookmark. I'm going to click on classwork. I'm going to click on the bookmark icon up in the URL. And wow, that's a long name and unnecessary. Hey, if you're talking about your classes, you really just need a one for first period and a two for second period. How many characters do you need? For me, it really is helpful to at least have a full word of recess, since this is the math recess, go slow class. And then notice it's on the bookmark bar. Done. Now, my problem is I have a lot of bookmarks. So I'm going to click on the little arrowy thing, find the one I just made and put recess in there. Okay, now I'll click on this one. I'm gonna to go to the code. Boom, takes me to classwork. Boom, back on the classwork page of math recess and back to the shortcuts. Now, control shift B, whoops, what happened to my bookmark bar? Control shift B, now I'm on a Mac, some command shift B. But notice that I hide, like why would I wanna hide my bookmarks? What a great question, I totally would not. But sometimes I've accidentally somehow hidden my bookmarks. So B for bookmark, Control-Shift-B brings it back. What? Thanks. 